if you want to create consistent characters for your faceless channel videos storybooks comic books or you just want to see if you can do this this video is for you in this video i'm going to show you how to generate consistent characters and it is super simple to do anybody can do it my name is charles let's do this now the first thing you want to do is to go to leonardo.ai it's a free platform where you can generate images now you can do this on different platforms but for the sake of this tutorial i'm using leonardo to show you how to do it now if you sign up on leonardo they give you 150 free credits to use every day so every day you have the opportunity to generate few images and also generate videos so with Leonardo, you can generate images, you can generate motion videos and a lot of things. So you can see, you know, the possibilities of this platform. So let's click on image creation. We are going to enter this prompt. We are going to enter the character name, the character age, the gender, the hair type, the face type, the top attire, the bottom attire, the footwear, the background, the action and the style. Now, everything here will remain the same if you want to do this properly. What should change should be the action. If you want this to work well, all these would have to remain the same throughout your generation. The only thing that would change is the action, what you want the character to be doing for that particular you know, image that you want to generate. Now, before we go into putting all these things, you can change the presets here. If you click on presets, you're going to see different presets that you can use in generating your images. If you want cinematic type of image, you can do it. If you want illustrative graphic design, like there are different types. Presets, dynamic, you're gonna leave that as dynamic. Generation mode, fast. And then we're gonna leave this like this and this is medium medium is fine number of images we're going to leave it as it is and advanced settings you can change only few of these but you can't you know change this but we are going to leave the model at leonardo kino xl you can change it to lightning xl if you want so we're going to leave it at lightning xl i change to lightning xl and i'm going to show you what you're going to use this fixed seed for I'm going to explain it but let's generate our image first let's close this preset and enter a character name here so let's call this character pella let's give it age pella is 23 years old and pella is a male and hair type brown or black low cut face type let's say round face and tie on top you can say oh you should wear a hoodie hoodie let's change hoodie attire top or jean trousers you can just say jean trouser for footwear we can use nike shoe and for the background let's say street of lagos all right street of lagos and action standing and smiling standing and smiling all right and the style is 3d pixar animation okay so you can see what we change this to be say pella 23 years old male black low coat round face hoodie attire top jean trousers nike shoes street of lagos standing and smiling and style of 3d pixar animation now it's time to generate so we are going to click on generate and it costs 10 credits to generate. Remember we have 153 credits. We are going to click on generate and we wait for the result. If you have not subscribed to this channel, hit the subscribe button, like this video so that I can reach more people. Now you can see this is a Pixar character of Pella wearing a hoodie with a jean smiling in the street of Lagos. Okay. So after generating these images, the next thing we're going to do is to click on these three dots at the top right of the screen and you can scroll down just below view generation info. We are going to click on copy seed. All right, you're going to copy this seed. Now this seed is very important. Without this seed, you're not going to do this. All right, this is the most important part of the video. Okay, so we click on copy seed and then we're going to come down here. By the left panel here where you have presets preset style contrast image dimension 
and advanced settings we're going to come down to advanced settings and then we are going to turn on use fixed seed we are going to turn it on and then we're going to paste that seed we copied paste it here the series of number all right we paste it here and then we're going to go up and you're going to leave all these details the same the only thing we're going to change is the action that Pella is doing okay we can see standing and shouting and then we click on generate now you can see this didn't give us what we want but the picture or the image still looks exactly close to what we want to generate so we're going to change this to leonardo diffusion excel and we are going to leave this on we are going to change this to leonardo phonics i'm going to generate this image again it's going to cost 24 credits it's taking a lot so we've generated something i'm going to copy this seed and i'm going to paste the seed here all right it's still the same seed now we are going to um say sitting by the road sitting by the road and we are going to generate all right remember we are using the seed for this particular image here so you can see let's look at this you can see the image looks sort of the same uh, they look somewhat the same uh, you can see this just a little difference a little difference and then here you can see it looks somewhat the same this looks good this guy doesn't have a leg this one has three legs well done Leonardo so I'm gonna try it again and I'm gonna say walking generate you can see these images they look somewhat close to each other all right we are still using the same seed so you can see it picked it up from here so let's open it uh the picture looks almost the same it looks close the same with uh the previous one that we generated you can see this image here this is an image of pella looks somewhat close to this very close not too bad the reason why this is not close enough is because i'm using the free one so if you're using the pay leonardo it gives you a better result but this is still somewhat close so you can still use this method if you're creating a folktale story or some sort of story where you need to like maintain the character all you need to do is to copy the seed after generating your image copy the seed and paste the seed here which is the same which is this paste the seed there and keep your description the same what you need to do is just to change the action which is walking by the beach you can use walking by the beach and let's see what comes out so you can see the image looks somewhat the same but still it's gearing away from the from the prompts that we gave it so this AI is somewhat stubborn and it's not keeping to the script. Okay. It's still doing its own thing. But the images are close enough. Okay. They are close enough. Uh, you can use them interchangeably if you look at these images. All right. Let's generate it one more time. And this time, let's say sitting on the bench in the park. Sitting on the bench in the park. And let's generate this final image using this same seed let's turn off prompt enhance and generate it's going to give us a better result if we do that it should give us a better result now if you notice this picture here looks somewhat like this picture here so since we turned off prompt enhance it did not try to give us his own idea it brought something close to what we had initially so if you look at this, you can see that it looks like the first picture. It looks like these pictures here. They still look alike, uh, not too far off. So this is how you generate consistent images. If you want to get a better result, you need 
to subscribe. You need to pay some money to Leonardo, but you can take advantage of the free one. It seems like they give the best quality and best results to paid members. If you cannot pay, that's fine. You can use it the way it is. The results are still not bad. The results are somewhat good and manageable, so you can use it, you know, use it properly for your project. If you have projects that you need, if you want consistent characters in your storybooks, this is still going to work because they look closely like uh, the same characters. So if you're not satisfied with this, I'm going to create another video. Maybe this time around, I'll create with me journey and I'll <laughs> compare the results. So before then, check out this video. Enjoy this video. I created it for you. All right. Check it out and let me know. Share your thoughts in the comment section. If you have questions, if you have tips, share it in the comment section. And if you have not subscribed to this channel, subscribe, hit the like button. Let's go to 100k subscribers. 